I shall bring you rest. No problem. I shall bring you rest. The battle! Trump hasn't been able to efficiently use his mana for uh, several turns now, and that does give an opportunity for uh, for War to stabilize. You know, it's at 35 health. That's way out of the way. Soldiers of the cold dark. Uh, the important thing here for Trump is getting the damage to the weapon. He's able to uh, reduce Korea's armor total, which is important because of shield slam. Not just uh, the armor sure. total is enabling shield slam to potentially kill the big minions that Trump might play later. Yep, well, the only way to really Let get none survive. This is what you think about. I can see over that, over the taunted bear, but right. But he would have used it as a. Then he's going to make the second savage would give everything plus four total attack, which is just, like we said, about a thousand damage. Rounding up. Rounding, Rounding up. Yeah. Uh, the, the Korea kind of, he doesn't know that his opponent has a combo for I sure, so he's wondering what the <laughs> if this wasn't the case. Yeah, that's what you need to do in this kind of position here. Uh, I need to recognize how do I win this? In many cases, you have to just recognize every opponent. If he has combo, I think it's fine. You just try and uh, try and put yourself in a position that maybe you can win, but Korea is sitting yeah. back. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. It's, time. it's about that time. Force of Nature comes out from Trump. Savage Roar. That alone is enough. We'll see you. Uh, we'll be we'll, we'll Scepter again. Uh, that is the question. I think he's just calculating whether this is enough before. It is. It is enough. <laughs> it's, it's plenty. He's just thinking about it. Everyone's cheering for the extra BM, but. That is not how a mayor treats a citizen. <laughs> Game and Trump four goes to Trump. So we will see the epic This is just a lot of damage. It's going to be a full board of patients. Everyone gets in here. How are going to take the lead? I just see the series. One more night juggle come out. Yeah, those jugglers actually pushing against Small Gel in that situation. I think all he did it to do was hit once into the monitor anyway uh, to push through. Especially with the 
Marines, so a uh, really great spot. That's a good one. That's a good one. Alright, and Hotform is going to take game number one of the series. So yeah, he takes a very combo-oriented approach, saves his cards, takes it with that one big turn. Minions. Yeah, a little bit rough for Mole Gel there. Uh, gets caught with double the his own big hands. Uh, of course, we talked about it quite a bit, but that's, that's never the spot you're going to be in. Have much of a use. We saw the best use of all these downs there would have been. Let none right, survive. Right into game number four. This is going to be Hopper with Tempo Man and Mojel with Mech Mage. Now we have to keep in mind Mojel, he's got a little bit of a different kind of Mech Mage than some of you might be used to seeing. It's a little bit slower. It does run card draw like Arcane Intellect, which you know, a lot of people don't run in Mech Mage. Yeah, what kind of benefits do you think Mojel's going for by running slower cards like Flame Strike and Arcane Intellect in a faster deck like Mech Mage? Well, most faster decks like Mech Let Mage, none survive. Let none survive. Control decks that can't slow the game down, oftentimes will just have better draws than you, you'll run out of resources, things to play. But cards like Arcane Intellect help counteract that. Mole Gel's early game, I the power because of the power of the on average. But going into a late game, he's going to have one more more draws at cards like Fireball to take. I have no time for games. And I definitely Are like you the innovation. It's definitely me? the deck that you have for a long time, but not even recently in tournament play. It's, I'm just happy to see this. These are two big decks that are kind of that kill the Cogmaster for free. Now Mole Gel's in a tough spot. Just hope that Hotform doesn't have something like a Fireball to deal with it. Or a Siphon Soul. Or a Siphon Soul. Should have played around it. Yeah. Hey, why don't you play around the Siphon Soul if you're Polish? He, he has to be pretty scared. He saw Next to Champs Rod draw a spell, and he, he's seen that spell sit in Hotform's hand the whole game. So. Right, we're not even going to see it. We're just going to see a Fireball. That out. is such a great draw from Hotform. And Hazard Drake, allowing him to use that Fireball instead of the Siphon Soul, get a clean kill. Well, off the top of Dr. Boom for Mojo, so that's going to help him fight back, but I have no I don't time know. for this games. This is looking pretty rough for Mojo. Hotform is actually really happy about that technical of this situation. I think we're going to see Hotform take out that Snow Chugger and play Flame Waker, siphon the 7 7 and try to take out those blue I bots. shall bring you in. The blue bots, uh, depending on how much they hit for, can very much change the face of this game. But they're, they're the did not. Hitler, you have officially been easily. initiated into the Casters <laughs> Club Union. Thank you very much for your application. You've been accepted! Like, wait a minute, no, no he's actually dead. Oh. Yeah, it happens that way. But, you know, good on Korea to make sure to sequence that and see how the move bots are going to We're really focused on making the direct damage and so, hurt him, but so, uh, so, having so, that as a charge damage oh, was ending up. Oh, 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 Imagine that should hypothetically go Korea's favor. Even if Purple feels confident otherwise, that's definitely a good deck relative to what Purple's lineup is. Oh yeah. And here, both players now with Warlock and Warrior decks. They're very different Warrior decks though. They have very similar Warlock decks for main, both of them have main lock, but the control warrior for Korea is uh, Patriot Warrior for Purple. I didn't think it was the matchup. Have lots of different and very strong opinions both ways from what I've heard. Uh, generally speaking, it seems to me like the uh, most of the situations that I've seen that really stealth shade. Shade is actually one of the cards from uh, purple that dodges for all their rules and does have his hand right now. Aside from the brawls. Well, well in the, in the, from behind, yes, dust dodge everything. Goes for the coin belts are here. Matches up really well against that shredder. <laughs> Do you take out the shredder? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I probably would have. Why, you, why would you not? Nice. You have another one coming. I guess he wants to do a second belt for the next. Uh, that's true. And the stat line is really good, 3-5 against that, but it's still like, with, uh, with the shredder and the uh, hero power, he will be able to kill the phone one half. Yeah, he could be anticipating that if he plays the second belt shredder, then the, the shade will kill it anyways. Right. That still doesn't mean that you want to let the first belt out. Reporting for duty. Purple, instead of using the interface into the Ancient of Lore, and the point for a Wrath, so that way he can get pretty Use the shade instead of the shredder. 
Yeah. I wanted to give a shot. I wanted to uh, do as many tournaments as I could and uh, take things more seriously from that standpoint. It's, it's been working out since. What did you do before uh, for the Going Pro? I was a financial planner for a uh, financial services company. You feel like the, and I'm imagining I might have the wrong idea of financial planner, but yeah. you spend a lot of time with numbers, crunching, spreadsheets. Has that kind of come over into Hearthstone and helped you conceptualize some of the mathematical uh, necessities? It has, yeah. I've always been an analytical guy. I think a lot of the top personal players, you know, they have finance backgrounds, and analyzing, uh, you know, the win rates between certain matchups, what's good, what's not. <laughs> Players are sitting down in...